Welcome back to Cheesehead TV. Join us as we go all across Wisconsin, visiting some Packers legends and touring their awesome Packers shrines, hosted by yours truly, Wyatt G. Make sure y'all stick along for this journey and remember, go Pack Go! Welcome back to Cheesehead TV. I'm your host, Wyatt G. We are back on our super fan house tours all across Wisconsin. Today, I'm joined by a very special guest. Spencer Young. Spencer, it's a pleasure. Thanks for having me on the show, you know, I'm super excited. Hey, thanks for having us. Yeah. Now, tell the people, what do you do for a living? Because a lot of people might know your work or see it every day when they go to Lambeau Field. Yeah, so I'm a full-time artist and my most notable work is the Packer Fets outside mm. Lambeau there. So right across Miller Light Gate and uh, I've had the extreme honor and privilege for the past 10 seasons to paint in every home opener, so. So you've been doing this for 10 years now, painting the Packers fans. Yeah, correct? pretty close to it, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, what's been your favorite fence out of all of them? I'm already give you some hot uh, questions. Defenders of Lambo with Mike Daniels and Clay Matthews. Uh, anime always holds a special place in my heart and the owner let me kind of go free reign on that and uh, do an anime themed fence. And you know, the reaction was exactly everything I anticipated. You know, he shouted out, he loved it. And uh, I even like, it's kind of funny because it's Dragon Ball Z, if anyone's familiar with the series, I put, EL27 on his like little scanner that he yeah. has. And it's referenced to Eddie Lacy that year playing with the Seahawks. And that was the home opener, was uh, playing Eddie Lacy. And the first drive, Mike Daniels tackled him for a loss and he referenced a Kamehameha move. Mm -hmm. And I just found out recently that he told me, he's like, yeah, you painted the fence that year. That's that's totally a reference to that. <laughs> so it was really cool watching on game day and confirming like the reason why he did that was because of the fence out there. And then on game days, you also do paintings, correct? Yeah, I do, yeah. I try and uh, get out there as much as I can just for the community and the fan base and kind of give back. You know, it's such a great atmosphere. I love being a part of it. And whenever I can create art, it's always the best. What's your favorite Packers player of all time? <sighs> I knew you were gonna ask me yep, this one. Always. And honestly, if I gotta go like top three, like first one, probably In Gilbert order. Brown. In order. In order. <laughs> yeah. Probably Gilbert Brown. Just because as a kid, I always like looked up to him. I was always a big kid growing up, you know, and like seeing a guy out there like doing his thing, causing devastation on the field, you know, <laughs> that's definitely inspiring, you know. He also got a burger named after him, so you can't go wrong with that. Brett Favre, I mean, the guy is a legend. Like, the stuff that he went through and like his whole story, is, it's like a Hollywood script, you know? Like, for all the ups and downs that he had, that's truly inspiring. Like, when his dad passed away and he threw all those touchdown passes against the Raiders, I'm like, it got me. But then the other time it got me was when he did retire for the first time with the Packers. Mm -hmm. I remember being a senior in high school, crying my eyes out in study hall. And they asked me what's wrong, like they thought my dog died or something. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my fox leaving, it's over. Finally, it's probably gotta be Mike Daniels. Mm. Just for, you know, the reference and the experience in my life to like combine it with art as well as the Packer history. I just can't go wrong with that. Now you got a lot of cool things in this studio such as these paintings and this locker. Yeah. You wanna tell us what's going on with this locker here? Yeah, so it's a little bit of everything. So I have like some signed jerseys. Uh, I have a Jerry Kramer signed jersey. I did some artwork for him. So he sent me a bunch of memorabilia. Right here, one of my favorites, is a, it's a Far Supper Club shirt. And it's signed by Bonita Favre and Big Irv himself. It was $3 originally, and it was half off, so I got it for $1.50. How are you people out there letting go <laughs> of this valuable piece? That's incredible. That's what, like I said, one man's trash is another man's treasure, and I'll take it, you know? So. You definitely said that before, folks. <laughs> Found it in the toy bin in Green Bay, and I looked at it, and I was like, yeah, this kind of looks familiar. And uh, I was praying. Kinda. I, yeah, I was praying that like, I was gonna be able to check out with this, and uh, credit, the debit card went through. I feel like I committed robbery or something. <laughs> $1.28 half off sticker, so it was like 60 cents, 65 cents maybe. For an Aaron Rodgers signed football. Right there. That's absolutely incredible. Yeah. Like how? Yeah, and then some like custom cleats. I customize shoes and stuff. I've customized Packer player cleats over oh, the years. These so. ones, these are snazzy. Oscar the Grouch. And you got the fur and everything on them. I love trash, go away. How long does it take to do that one? Uh, this one took a couple days for sure, so. Just a matter of planning and how I wanted to lay everything out, so. Now you made a couple of cleats or painted a couple of cleats for AJ Dillon's youth camp, correct? Yeah, I did, yeah. 
Tell us about that story. I've done work with uh, Alex Young. He's a realtor mm. in the Green Bay area. And uh, he reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in uh, painting at his youth football camp. Yep. Definitely was interested in it. Uh, it was for the youth football camp. And uh, it's my way of giving back to the community. You know, and if I can do something special that, you know, kids catch an interest in or something, then, you know, I can give those cleats back. They can auction it, raise some money for that. So you can't go wrong with that. No, you can't. Yeah. Got to give back. So yeah, we got a couple camps coming out with other Packer players. I don't want to reveal anything yet. So I wouldn't be in the situation I'm in without thinking big or dreaming big, you know? So just got to keep after it, even though I feel like I'm getting older and older and you might be getting too old to chase dreams, but I don't think it's ever too old to chase no. dreams, so. Then what is your biggest goal for this upcoming year? To outdo myself every year with the Packers fans. Mm. That would be a big one. I want to be part of the community, more ingrained in the Packer fan community and the, the fan base and everything. And I just, I think the people are amazing. You know, I had so much fun last year painting every Sunday out there and uh, meeting so many awesome people. If I could meet more. Spencer, can we get a little sneak peek inside scoop of the Packer fans this upcoming season? Uh, we got some ideas in the works. Oh. Yeah. The unveiling. I think it's even more special when people come out there before the home opener and they didn't like expect anything, you know. Is there a certain date you're gonna be out there doing it? Uh, yeah, so I believe the first home opener is September 15th. So okay. the day before that one, it'll be September 14th. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. okay. So get out there if you wanna yeah, do it. Yeah, September know? 14th, yeah. right across from Lambeau Field. Spence will be there painting the new Packers fence. You gotta check it out, guys. You gotta check it out. You don't wanna miss that special event. Now you got some other awesome items in here. I say we walk around, take a peek, eh? Sounds good. Let's do it. Yeah. Now you might be wondering why I'm wearing this fancy, dancy Jair Alexander hat made by yours truly. All right, what inspired you with coming up with this and all these hats right here? Yeah, so obviously thrifting, it's my hobby, my, my pastime aside from like, creating art and uh, the one thing I really like collecting is anything nostalgia mm. and I think just hats in general are so cool. The designs, the layouts, they just, they really inspire my artwork at the end of the day. Can I give them new life? Can I create something? Can I add to it? And this was one of the hats that you're wearing right now where I took an idea and I ran with it and I think it turned out pretty sick. What inspired you to start creating art in the first place? Uh, so my grandpa was a rustic painter and uh, as a kid I remember sitting at the kitchen counter with him and just it was always like a competition almost mm -hmm. where it's like yeah, I'm gonna I'll do you I'll do you and uh, I'll never forget the day I was like around 10 and he's like yeah you're better than me I give up and he like walked away and I was just like oh, well come on let's still draw like I, I just loved hanging out with my grandpa you know and creating art with him also the biggest Packer fan you'll ever be it's so like Unfortunately, he passed away before like I started painting the Packers fans, but I know he's up on a cloud somewhere, like just crying in ear to ear, you know. So first off, Cheesehead TV, Corey, Aaron, you, like all you guys, amazing. Like you've appreciate it. I wouldn't be in the situation <laughs> I'm in, you know, without you guys. And I really do think it takes a community or a village to like, you know, if you want to grow, you need other people to support you in your what you want to be when you get older, you know? And right. Now there's a lot of people out there that have big dreams and aspirations, you know, not a lot of people can be following their dreams at the end of the day. What do you gotta say to those people that wanna follow their dreams? Keep doing it. No matter how rough it gets, like I remember times where it's just like, you know, I wanna stop, I wanna give up, but like I was never raised to quit. Thank you so much for having us. It was a pleasure. It's always great talking to you, my guy. Right back at you, man. Make sure you check out Forever Young Designs. And before we sign off, I got a little gift for my dog. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Okay, now we're stopping. Oh my gosh, I can see better with these glasses than those ones. I love it. Can I get a go pack go to end it all? Like last time? Yeah, you might as well. <clears throat> go back! Go! Make sure you like, subscribe. See you guys next time. <sighs>